Let's take it out to the Cowboys mailbag, one of my favorite sections here. A lot of comments and questions this week. We'll try and get through as many as we can here. Start up from AB on Twitter. When is the Clapper getting fired slash sledding, stepping down? Linehan too. Well, AB, not going to happen before the year starts, that's for sure. And Garrett is very much on the hot. We've mentioned it many a time on this show. If he doesn't make the playoffs, he's gone. The same is true with Scott Linehan. I know a lot of you guys, myself included, have issues with his play calling. If it doesn't improve, they're going to get fired. The Cowboys coaching staff this year has enough rope to hang themselves with. That's what the front office did. They said, okay, Scott and Jason, make your staff the way you want to do it. We'll let you make the calls here. You can bring in Kellen Moore. And if it fails, you're all getting fired. So, folks, let me know what does Jason Garrett need to do to keep his job in 2019. Let me know in the comments section. And if you want Garrett fired, let me know who you think the Cowboys should replace him with in 2019 as well. Next up, Steve Costa says, now that Michael Kendricks has been cut, would you pick him up? Maybe at a bargain price. If it's cheap, of course I would. I will, I will never say no to cheap talent. The issue is Kendricks refused the pay cut from the Philadelphia Eagles. And the Cowboys, because they have Smith, Lee, and Van Der Esch, they want those three guys to be their top three options. Does Kendricks want to be the number four linebacker for the Cowboys at a cheap discount? The reality is probably not. So I have interest, yes, but it falls into the Navarro-Bowman category. Is Kendricks or Bowman going to take less money and less playing time to come play for the Cowboys? Don't think so. Mitchell wants to know any word of thought about moving Rod Smith to tight end since we have Austin and Bo at running back. Not going to happen, Mitchell. And I, I kind of get the mindset there because he showed he could be a nice pass catcher. But by the time Rod Smith gets caught up and playing a whole new position, he's going to be behind all the other tight ends there. And at running back, Rod Smith is still the number two guy. I know everyone likes Bo Scarborough. His number one goal right now is just to make the roster. And one quick note from OTAs, he was fourth behind Zeke, behind Bo, and behind Trey Williams as well. So I like Bo Scarborough. His job right now is to be the, the backup to the backup and then maybe take over for Rod Smith down the road. But as of right now, the Cowboys want Rod Smith as the number two back with Austin, kind of playing that Lance Dunbar role. A really good question here from Demetrius. Who is more likely to be cut, T-Will, Rico, or David Irving? Well, it's not going to be David Irving. He's going to make the roster this year. Terrence Williams is the big question mark because if he's suspended, I think he's gone. But I don't know if he's actually going to be s suspended. So as of right now, I'll lean toward T-Will. But unfortunately, I'm not ruling out Rico Gathers either. It's a make or break year for Rico. As of right now, he's fourth among tight ends in the Cowboys depth chart in OTAs. We know he's shown some promise as a pass catcher, but he's got to be a better blocker. And I think he has to get more focused as well. I don't know how focused he was this offseason with his rap career. So see what happens with Rico and T-Will. But both those guys are not locked in to the rush spot in part because of differing reasons. Matthew wants to know why we don't move Crawford back to DT. And Matthew... Look, I agree with you. I think Crawford's best fit is as a three technique, but the Cowboys don't seem to think so. They're actually having him cut weight right now to be a more quicker, disruptive guy at defensive end rather than bulk backup move to, to DT. He does a lot of the dirty work for the Cowboys, and again, I think he's better at DT. The Cowboys want to keep him at defensive end. They like David Irving. They like Malik Collins. The reality is they got three, three techniques on the roster, Irving, Crawford, and Collins. They got one at defensive end, one at DT, and then one at nose guard as well. So I get it, Matthew. I just, the Cowboys just aren't going to do it because they want Crawford at defensive end playing some of the, the dirty work on that end. Sandman wants to know what I thought of the Cowboys drafting another defensive end, Dorrance Armstrong, instead of thinking a Hurst or a Settle, and if I agree with it. I don't. I, I really wanted Tim Settle. I thought he'd be a great fit for the Cowboys at the one technique spot. The value of Hurst was incredible. I'd have taken either of those guys over Dorrance Armstrong. But the Cowboys love Armstrong. They, they had a third round grade on him. Had Gallup been off the board, he would, would have been under consideration for the Cowboys in round three. So let me know, guys. Should the Cowboys have drafted a DT? I think absolutely. I wanted Tim Settle. You guys know I thought about Vita Vea, who was off the board before the Cowboys even had a chance to pick him. But I would have loved Tim Settle. He'd be a good one technique. I want Dallas to get one because I don't think it's going to work right now with playing Collins or Brian Price, a lot of snaps, at that nose guard spot. I want a big hog, Molly, to slow down the run game and make life easier for my linebackers. As of right now, Cowboys don't have that guy. Jordan wants to know, why not pursue Brashad Breeland to further amplify the young DBs? 
Well, here's why. A, there's some injury concerns with, with Prashad Bielan coming off the foot infection that cost him his deal with the Panthers. Which, when you look at the Cowboys' depth chart, Awuzie, Lewis, Byron Jones, and Anthony Brown, the reality is that's a pretty good top four and a young and cheap group. So the Cowboys are not looking for a, a top four cornerback. They're looking for a number five guy. And real and from his perspective, why would he want to come to Dallas when he wants to have a one-year prove-it deal to go get more money next offseason, when in reality, I think there's a real chance he's not one of the top three guys on the Cowboys roster at quarterback. And that assumes Lewis and Uzi and Jones all improve, maybe Anthony Brown as well. But I like Rashad Breeland, but the Cowboys want to give their talented young cornerbacks the chance to thrive on the outside and on the inside. They want those guys to earn the role. So unfortunately, the Cowboys won't invest in another cornerback like Rashad Breeland. Ray wants to know, why doesn't Trey Burton fit the Cowboys' scheme? I don't know. Uh, I don't have an answer for you. I, I don't get it. I think Boston would be a – or Trey Boston, I'm assuming not Trey Burton. I think Boston would be a great fit for the Cowboys. I don't really understand it. There was a report from Jason Lock and Forward the other day that some agents have told him they think it's because no one wants a safety at all because it might seem like they're ignoring Eric Reed because of his anthem protests and – or protest, protest, protesting during the national anthem. And – I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense because the Cowboys aren't going to sign Eric Reed, but Boston showed he could be a free safety. The Cowboys, I think, could use a free safety. So uh, I'm on I'm board with, with you, Bray. I don't get it. Go get a safety, Vaccaro, Boston, whomever. Cowboys need one more guy in that back end as far as I'm concerned. Michael wants to know who's going to be the special teams returners on punts and kickoffs. I think, Michael, it's going to be Tavon Austin. Now, Austin does bring some nice game-breaking ability, but I'll make note of this. Look at his numbers there. Low-key Tavon Austin, actually not that great over his NFL career as a return guy, was phased out with the Rams in favor of Farrell Cooper. So the Cowboys kind of want Austin to be that guy. I have some minor concerns about the Cowboys in general. Want Austin to be the Lance Dunbar, Lucky Whitehead type hybrid guy, and they're just going to give it to him, that role, even though maybe he's not the best fit. So it's probably going to be Tavon Austin, but... Hopefully he's better than what he was the past few years in L.A. Also, Michael had a bunch of good questions this week. Which new positional coach will have the biggest impact on the team this year? This one's pretty easy. It's Chris Richard. I mean, it's not it's not even close. And Richard very clearly is being groomed to take over as the defensive coordinator after this year. The Cowboys, especially in the secondary, are building a Rashad defense. Look who they signed in the offseason. And under, on the under free agents are all big, long, and lanky guys at cornerback. That's what Rashard wants. He's going to be the defensive coordinator, assuming Garrett's back, or regardless, even if, he, if he's fired. I think Rashard is the odds-on favorite next year to the Cowboys' D.C. He is going to have a big, big impact as he takes over as kind of the passing game coordinator for Dallas. Bears hater wants to know if they think the Cowboys have a 1,000-yard receiver since 2014, the first one, and who will it be? He thinks it's going to be Michael Gallup. I'd love that, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think the Cowboys, clearly their, their plan is spread the ball around to everybody. Everybody gets 600 yards. Hearns and Beasley and Gallup and Williams and Thompson and even Noah Brown-Wilson, they're all going to get a lot, of, a lot of reps. Titans as well. The halfbacks, Austin and Zeke and even some Ross Smith will get plenty of work as well. I just don't see it happening this year. A, the Cowboys aren't going to throw it a bunch this year. They're just not going to. They want to run the ball a ton. B, I don't think any of the Cowboys receivers are going to get enough targets overall. They're going to spread it around. So I don't see it happening. If I had to pick one, I'll lean toward Allen Hearns. Hopefully down the road, though, it is Michael Gallup. One question here from David says, who's having a breakout year? David, great question. We're going to get to it on a future show, though. There's a lot of different guys that could break out. We'll have a Cowboys post who could break out segment in a couple of days here, either on Tuesday or Thursday. So stay tuned for that one. We'll answer it plenty in depth. All right, folks, I'm Tom Downey. Follow me on Twitter at WhatGoingDowney for more Cowboys coverage. If you missed anything, don't worry. We'll play it again. Until then, we'll see you next time.